Hey, this is T.W. Jackson. Uh, I would like to welcome you to the site here. Uh, you can call me T.W. And I wanted to do a video for you that I am hoping will really help you out. Whether you decide to come back and visit my site or not, uh, I'm hoping this will be something you can take with you, take with you today, and that will really help you out. Because I know if you're visiting, you're going through a really tough time now with a breakup. And I... Uh, answer, gosh, hundreds of emails every month. I get a lot more, but unfortunately, I, I just can't keep up. And from time to time, I get uh, real letters by the post, which is really, really cool. Um, I got one just the other day. Um, I'm going to cover the guy's name up, the return address, to keep it private, but this was on March 27th. Um, but let me show you that here right quick. Um, T.W. Jackson, if you'd like to write to me, I'd love to love to get a letter from you. It's 608 West Parkway, uh, PMB123 in Russellville, Arkansas, and that's 72801. Just out here in the country, uh, just an old country boy. Like I told you, uh, if you've read through a little bit, the uh, introduction in the letter, uh, ex-service guy, I've been through the military, all, all kinds of countries and states and stuff. But that's enough about me. Uh, all the time I get letters and emails from folks and they've just got, um, you know, word of the breakup. And man, you know, it's such an emotional, emotional <laughs> and trying time there. You have to excuse me. I, I don't do a whole lot of these videos, so I hope it comes across helpful for you. But I'll probably do a little bumbling. But look, what happens a lot of times is somebody gets that. Uh, initial breakup, whether it be in a letter or face to face, and they just kind of go insane for a little while. That's, I mean, that's the best way to put it. Just kind of an insanity, and they start doing what I call text message terrorism. They're text messaging back and forth, and and uh, uh, just trying to figure, you know, figure out what's happened. Uh, or do they have somebody else they're really seeing? Or is what they're telling you the truth? Why are they breaking up? Uh, uh, professing their undying love. Uh, another common occurrence is what I call drunk dialing. Uh, it's when you go out, you try to forget about everything, but you go out and you have a few drinks, and before you know it, you're on the phone, uh, dialing up your ex, talking to your ex, and basically, you know, kind of making a, a fool out of yourself. And don't, if you've done that, don't feel bad. Uh, that happens to so many people, uh, you would just not believe. And, you know, I've been there before, too. So, uh, what do you do? And, and the thing you should do is count, is very, very counterintuitive to what you feel inside of what you, what, what happens. So, instead of doing the drunk dialing, the text message terrorism, we're trying to get in front of them and, and 